Hi there YouTube, welcome to another US Marine Corps bolt action update. Um, this time I decided to concentrate on some other things other than infantry squads. So here you can see a M3 half track. Um, this came in the starter army. Um, I'm not 100% sure whether I'm going to keep this in my army um, and kind of swap it out for uh, amphibious um, buffaloes. Um, but as you can see, I've kind of painted it as basic as I can um, so that if I do decide to take it out of my army, I can convert it to, uh, to normal US Army um, and put it in with my little US Army force. Um, I converted the uh, driver into a marine so you can see he's got his camouflage helmet cover there um, scrawled some scrawled a name on there um, I couldn't find much picture reference for uh, marine core m3s to tell the truth um, this is kind of a mixture of of uh, the few that I did find um, I found some that were um, I even found a few that were a kind of Camouflage in a, in a way similar to uh, the helmet covers, um, but I decided to just paint paint it as plain as possible. Um, the crew uh, obviously scrawled USMC on there and Jungle Taxi, and I kind of had to freehand a um, identification number on the back there. Um, but I mean, other than that, it's just basically a plain. Uh, green vehicle. I did try and put some. Uh, can't see it very well, but I did try and put some uh, some detail into the cab there by p putting in the uh, the uh, dials and stuff. Yeah, kind of happy with that. Not not maybe not a hundred percent, but it came out okay. Next up. We have the uh, the redeploying um, machine gun team. Um, these guys came in the Marine Corps starter box set. You actually get two machine gun teams, uh, one set up and one uh, moving. So we'll start with this, this guy here, firing from the hip with the, uh, the 30 caliber. You can see I've given him a full bearded head to make him look a bit more sort of veteran. Um, and um, yeah, he's he's uh, pretty badass. This guy, you can see him firing from the hip. Bolt of ammo. Decent amount of uh, webbing equipment. Try and get a closer look at that face. Real grizzled beard. Given him the uh, uh, camouflaged uh, BDU top and uh, the green trousers. Okay, that's the uh, machine gun. Uh, number two here, I am the ammo bearer. And he's another really nice miniature actually. He's in a nice running pose carrying the rather heavy box of uh, maybe a thousand rounds. And the thing I liked about this guy is that he's actually got a uh, Japanese uh, captured water bottle there. I um, don't know how clearly you can see that. Um, and he's also got this rather suspicious looking uh, Japanese uh, carry sack as well. Um, so I quite kind of like I quite quite liked this uh, this miniature. He's got like a, a stogie in his, in his chops. And finally, the third guy. The lowly tripod carrier and another great pose miniature. Um, carbine on the back, ammo belt around his neck, 
plus of course the extremely heavy tripod. Um, he is uh, in a green uh, BDU top and camouflage trousers. Um, I did forget to mention on the uh, the running uh, ammo bearer, he's actually uh, all in green. And he's got like a normal helmet basically, with the, uh, some netting over. Uh, but to the sky, so he's got the camouflage trousers, uh, the the uh, green uh, BDU top, and the standard Marine Corps uh, camouflage helmet cover. And again, he's got a nice uh, array of uh, equipment on him. Okay, so it's going to be quite a quick update. This I've got one more thing to show. Um, the final thing I did was my 37mm anti-tank gun. Um, here it is. Um, this base, um, I can't remember its dimensions, but I believe it's 50 by... No, I can't remember how, how, how big it is. I, th I think it's 50 by something. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I actually ordered these by accident. Um, I, was, I was meant to be ordering uh, uh, 50 by 25 cavalry stands and ended up ordering uh, some of these. Um, but just by fluke, they actually managed to uh, fit this gun quite well because it wouldn't actually fit on one of those circular bases I normally put machine gun teams on. So it actually kind of, kind of worked out quite well. Um, so you can see that I've kind of done the base in a sort of transition from um, sort of... Uh, um, sandy sort of scrubland as you get towards sort of nearer to a beach um, kind of going into sort of um, a soily type ground going into sort of grass um, and I've kind of done that sort of scheme like if you go through the, the infantry units I've done before um, the first unit I did was uh, more or less in sort of a grassy terrain the second unit I did was more or less in a sort of half and half grassy and, and sort of dirt and um, my third sort of infantry unit and some of these guys are going to be on kind of a sort of a semi combination like this um, but I'm very I'm quite happy with how this turned out um, you see they've got their uh, flip it around you can see you've got the, uh, the range sticks on the side there um, I've got a bunch of their packs and their uh, carbines um, planted over some rocks to the side. Um, this guy with his flat cap on has got his helmet just down there within reach in case they go into action. You can see the crew's uh, kind of just about ready to uh, perhaps release a shell or in wait to release a shell. Came out very nice. Yeah, I'm quite quite happy with how it turned out this, this particular gun. Um, okay. Well, a quite quick update. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, join me next time for the next update. Um, again, I'm not hundred percent sure what I'll do next, but. Um, May well be machine gun team and flamethrower, and I believe uh, baz the bazooka team uh, could be up for the next uh, update. Um, but you never know; I could change my mind. So until next time, catch you later.